Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to study the update statement. The update statement modifies one or more existing records or rows in a table. And there is something that you need to be very careful when you're working with the update statement. And towards the end of this uh, lecture, I'm going to show you what that is. Now, whenever you do, whenever you use this, you might see an error that is not going to allow you to update. So the way that you can get rid of that error is uh, go to your uh, edit tab. So in the edit, click on it, go to preferences and when preferences they are opened go to sql editor and when you come down here it says safe updates it is probably ticked for you just take out the tick so it is unticked it is unselected and then okay it's exactly it should be exactly like mine and then hit okay it is then it is going to allow you to update your records if you in case you face that problem so so first off what i would like to do is i'm going to grab the um, departments so let's work in the departments table and i want to update this administration to web development and i'm going to change this uh, location id as well so how can we do that now this statement comprises of three clauses the first clause is the update clause so it is update now in the update we select which table it is so it is departments and then we say um, what row it is that we want to specifically update. So then uh, we are going to add the where clause. Now the where clause is a very important clause in, in SQL. And I've actually dedicated an entire chapter to it because this is, the, this is where SQL becomes conditional. So you, you provide conditions that restrict or restrain the result set that you want to change or you want to retrieve. This where clause, it works with all the statements. It doesn't really matter. You can work with it. And it provides you with some condition. Based on, based on that condition, your command is going to run against that specific table's database's table. So this is very important and this is the part where you need to be very careful because if you do not provide it with the where clause, your entire table will be changed, all the records, and it is permanent. You need to write the code all over again and, and execute it if you want to change the records back. So you need to be extremely careful when you're using the update statement and the delete statement which we're going to talk about next because they have the ability to ruin your tables if you're not using them with the where clause so we need to specify which row it is so i'm gonna i'm just gonna say the row which has a department id of one i want to i want that row's department name to change to web development and location id to change to where is it uh okay click on this and uh, i want the department name for that row to change to web development and the location id to change to like 9009 so i'm gonna say department id so let's grab the department id department id this shows which row it is that we want to change so it is the row with the department id of one this is the row that we want to change what do we want to change it we use the set clause so we want to change the department name to web dev web development and i want to change another column as well and that is the location underscore id you can see how we have separated these two columns using a comma and for string uh, for numeric values you do not need strings you could provide them but it is not really necessary so let's save that let's take a look at here so uh, again, let's go over the syntax one more time. We want to update the department's table. Which row? The row where the department ID is. It's basically simple English. The row where the department ID is equal to 1. What do we want to change it? What do we want to set? We want to set the department name to web development and the location ID to 9009. Save this. Let's run it. It has affected one row. And if I rerun this again, there we go for department id of one web development 9009 this is how you can update a record 
Now, you can also update multiple records. And to give you an example of that, I'm going to go into locations table. You, uh, to be able to update multiple records, you need to find a common ground between any column's values. So you can see that this column's value, we have repeated US three times. So if I say where, uh, what was that? Where country ID. So if I say where country ID equals to US, I want to update, let's say, all the cities to something else. You can do that as well. So I'm going to grab this, copy that. Let's come down here. Let's say two. And I could provide updating a, a single record. Updating multiple, multiple records. Perfect. Let me close the. Let me comment that one out. So we said it is the which table it is. It is the locations table. So let's pass in the name of the table. Uh, what which row it is? So if I select country the row which has the country ID equal to US, we would be selecting actually three rows, so multiple records. So I'm going to say country ID is equal to what? It is equal to US. Now. What do we want to update for these rows? For example, I want to grab the city. It is South Lake, uh, San Francisco, and Seattle. I want to I want to change all three of them to Kabul. Let's say. So I'm going to say where the city city. So I'm going to convert it to city, and let's get rid of that. I only want to update only one part of that table, and I'm going to change it to Kabul save this let's run it there we go you can see it says three rows affected it means we have changed three rows so one two and three if i run this again there you go so you can see for all for us we have said where the where the rows are us the country id is equal to us we have changed the city so this part is the condition, this part is the actual change that we want to bring in, and this part is the table that we want to bring that change into. Now, for the final example, I want to show you how you're going to mess up your table if you do not use the words with the condition, the where clause. So I'm going to say updating all records. This, for the most part, this is not something that you want. But in case, if it is something that you want, I'm going to show you how you can implement it. But this is not going to be something that you want for, for most cases. Now, I'm going to update something that doesn't really affect the plot of the series. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say locations. I do not provide which or country ID it is, I say that in the locations table, I want to set the city to Kabul. So all the values for the city, where is it? All the values for the city column will be set to Kabul. I could set it to the city I'm living in, Herat, not Hart. So I could set it to Herat, which is the city that I'm living in, that I live in currently. So if I run it, you can see that it says seven rows. Why seven rows? Because we have seven records in here. Now, if I rerun this, you, you just pay attention to city. All of them will be converted to Herat. There we go. This might be something that you want, but for the most part, it isn't. You want to update specific records. Not all the records. For example, your table has 10,000 entries. You do not want to update 10,000. You might want to update only like the customers that have purchased on a specific date or on a specific day of a month. For example, you have an online shop. You want to update the customers whenever um, customers table, whenever you're running any kind of special discount or any kind of something like that. So in the where clause, you say, if my customer has purchased more than 10 items, I want them to receive this link for future discounts or for this current discount that I'm running or for this current sale. So what you would say is uh, where, where the customer purchase or where the uh, purchase record or the purchased items is greater than, you're just going to say greater than, let's say, 10. 
you want to run that, you want to grab all the records, grab, extract their email addresses and using a Python application, we know how we can send a text message, right? Using Twilio API. You want to send a text message that you are running a sale. So you can do that as well. Uh, but that is the real world kind of scenario that you are going to do it is very rare that you want to update or you want to like change all of the rows in a record if it is something that you want to do for some reason then you know how you can do that just don't use the where clause it is going to take care of it on itself so I'm, uh, I hope you're enjoying SQL so far because this is like a complete different thing than Python uh, but uh, you're gonna you're gonna learn a, a lot more different things by the end of this course and um, I just want to give you like a lot of stuff in one course and connect the dots not like separated and disjointed course like like all the, all the ideas are continuously relating to each other we're gonna use Python with SQL a lot then I'm going to teach you HTML5 and CSS3, which is front-end web development. And then you are going to use that in your uh, Django and Flask applications that we're going to build. And so these are all of everything that is like coming together, this big picture of Python. And you know, okay, what it is that you want to do with Python, what you can do with Python. And from this course onwards, I want you to feel really comfortable applying for jobs for like junior level jobs, not like senior, because senior... It's not so much like learning these technologies as it is with like having the experience, like real world scenarios, real world dilemmas and uh, like bugs and all that sort of thing. And that's why whenever we have an error, I do not, I try to not cut it out of the video. I'm showing you how you can basically uh, debug that. So you have that experience so you can use it in future. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.